wonder what this can be. A package for me. Kevin here from Bozo Boys. Today's April 20th, 2024, and I just received my new arrows in the mail. These arrows are produced and manufactured in China by Chiago Sports. I'll put the link below. Uh, the owner of the company has become a friend of mine, and he created some, arrow, some arrows to some specs I gave him. So I'll test the arrows and see how the components fit, fudge them up, and start my 3D season with them and see how I make out. So stay tuned on the journey. Today I'm just going to do a little unboxing video and you'll see what they look like, see how the components fit. I'll put them on the arrow straightener and see if they, uh, how straight they are, plus weigh all the components. So I'll pick them against some of the arrows I have in my fleet. Um, typically this time of year I'll be using um, the Easton Super Drive 23, um, which I hope this arrow in this box will be comparable against. So stay tuned. I mean, got some various examples of some of the some of the wide variety of of um, components they make. So that should be interesting. I'd like to check that out. And I have a various uh, types of arrows they make, and these I would assume are going to be the ones that were made in my spec. So. I am really excited to try these arrows. Of course, I can reflect them to my new tack veins that I just ordered, but I'm definitely going to give uh, these arrows a great try. Well, I can say this is that they did a really jo good job on. They're fletching, so it's nice and even, and it's glued on tight. It's a pretty flexible vein, but I'm gonna I'm gonna strip it off because I want to put on my veins. So um, yeah, looks good though. Also has a pin knock, so very very nice looking pin knock that uh, I could see fits very well. So very interesting. trick is to use a nice dull knife. You don't want to cut into the carbon for sure. You've probably, everybody's probably seen a hundred of these videos, so. All right, here's a look at the arrow. It does have any markings on it right now. Right into See that bolt point for glue and bolt point. So I'll do some testing against my super drive. What I'm going to need to do is figure out what this arrow is a grains per inch. And I believe the shaft came in a size 32 inch. So it's going to be 32 inches long, and that does not include the accessories. So I'm going to cut an inch down and see what it weighs grains per inch. Here's three styles of points that were made for these arrows, each weighing 120 grains. Okay, I have cut one inch off the arrow, and I'm just going to see what it weighs. Alright, there we have the answer. It's going to be 7.8 grains per inch. Okay, just uh, got this arrow. So I'm going to use my caliper for an outside diameter and see what it is. Right up here. Eight point eight. Eight 
y point it y point it y point it so see so eight point eight millimeters all the way down the shaft and let's try and super drive so here's a super drive 23 uh, size um, 375 and it is nine point zero nine point zero nine point zero so very 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 close together so you have 8.8 .8 millimeters outside diameter and on the super drive you have 9.0 Today is day two with my 23 size arrow from Chago Sports. They've created this arrow based on some specs I give them to see if um, they could be competitive in the North American market. I put some tack veins on them and, and cut them down and put their points in and I'm going to do a straightness test today and a tuning test and see how they hold up. Okay, the first arrow I'm going to test is going to be the Super Drive 23. And I just have a micrometer put on uh, a random part of the shaft. I kind of spoke two, three, two thirds up the, from the knock in, and I'll see what goes here. I think you can see the dial just move very little. I would say it's moving one millimeter uh, around the shaft here, so I don't know if that's good or bad, but like I said, this is a 375. Okay, the next you're going in the spin is going to be the CXL Carbon Express X Buster 350. Very little movement. Okay, the very last arrow, of course, I'm going to do is the Tiago Sports 23 size. Well, I think you can see from the dial that this one actually is it was a dial less than the other two brands, which was an Easton and CXL. So that gives me some confidence. Let's just move the shaft up here. appears to be straighter than the other two brands, so at least by this dial. Well, so far in straightness, the uh, and component fit, I would say that they are actually measuring up to both the Easton and CXL, so um, I'm just going to try and tune my bow with them now and see how they fire. Alright, 
I'm going to tune both these arrows and see if they fire the same. I've already done some preliminary testing. I know that they're both going to pull a hole, but one is the Chago Sports 23 mil. Another one's my Superdrive 23 375 spine. All right, I'll get started here. First, first set of three arrows I'm going to shoot are my super drives. Okay, next set of arrows will be uh, the CXL Hunters. 250 size. These are a lot lighter, so I plan on they'll probably hit a little high, a lot faster. Here's my Chagua Sports arrow. I have a hoo shooter, I don't know why I'm not using it. And my last one is going to be the CXL Pro 250. These are uh, the lightest arrow out of all of them. See how we did. Interesting. I had that happen when I was shooting. Look how, look how far off it went. Broke a knock. Just finishing up the video on the Chiago Sports Arrow. Uh, this arrow is a pleasure to deal with. The outside feeling to it is nice. The components are precise, nice tight fits, and it was a nice arrow to fletch as well. 7.8 grains per inch, 120 grains in the front, 20 grains in the back for the pin bushing, which is a little heavier for me but the tolerance is 0 0.001 the question is, I don't really know what these things sell for so because this arrow was absolutely created for me this is the first time Chago Sports created a 23 size arrow it was built off some specs I provided them um, I don't, I'm not sure what this arrow will cost but if it's affordable, it's certainly comparable against any CXL product that I own and certainly the Superdrive 23 with the exception of it being a little heavier of course but if you learned something from the video, please hit like and subscribe. And I am going to link Chiago Sports in the comments below. 
Um, you can certainly reach out to them anytime. They give great customer service. They provide an email address, um, a phone number. You can order online from them if you want. But if you want to custom make arrows, um, you can definitely link them up and see if, what they can do for you. Um, like I said, that's what I did with this arrow. I need to buy more of them, but uh, at this time, uh, leave it up to you if you want to continue on with uh, reaching out to them. So, anyways, love it. Great arrow. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.